Okay. So. Hypnosis. You know already everything about it. We did it. We did it already in the last session. Yeah. So there's just a few extra things uh, that I've written here for like future sessions when I do sessions with other people. Like, don't think, don't analyze, don't critique the experience. Just don't use the left brain. Just the creative side. We just want that. Um, uh, yeah, um, you can see things, you can feel things, you can sense things, but it, it doesn't really matter. It's a different experience for everyone. So just go with it and see what happens. Use your imagination. When you go into that hypnotic state, it's that right side of the brain that activates, that creative side that activates. Um, so don't, don't be concerned, like it worked perfectly with you last time, but for people that have, um, uh, you know, that are doing hypnosis for the first time. Don't be concerned with what is imagination, fantasy, metaphor, symbol, actual memory or dream. We're going to go into a past life. So it doesn't matter whether that's like real or whether that's in your imagination. Yeah. We'll just go with it. Okay. All right. So I've got some notes here because I, I need to um, kind of use these to help me to do this because I haven't done this before. And I prepared a fucking amazing thing. So let's uh, see what happens. All right, we could put you into hypnosis like this again, but I want to try and do it through the meditation. Okay. So if it doesn't work through the meditation, then we'll do what we did last time. What worked? Okay. okay. So just yeah, put your um, your feet flat and get comfortable and close your eyes. Take some deep breaths in. And those breaths can be in and out through the mouth. Or they can be in through the nose and out through the mouth. Or in and out through the nose, doesn't really matter. But just take some deep breaths in and out. Relaxing now. Focusing on the breath. And just imagine that you're breathing out all the stresses and all the tensions that you've got stored in your body. So just as you breathe out, all the stress, all the tension, letting everything relax, your muscles. And imagine that you breathe in just that beautiful healing energy that's all around you. So you're breathing out the stress. And breathing in some fresh, new, positive energy. Breathing out the stress. Breathing in beautiful healing energy. Breathing out the stress, the tension. The tension in the bones, the tension in the mind, the tension in the muscles. And breathing in positive healing energy. Focus on the body now, on the sensations again, go to the top of the head. And as we focus on the top of the head, just see if you can feel any sensations, any emotions, the hair on the top of your head. Just imagine with your powerful imagination that that hypnosis now is just starting to drip down through the head into the forehead, into the eyes, and into the cheeks, just allowing that hypnosis, that powerful hypnosis, that relaxed state, that trance-like state, to just drip in through the top of your head, into your forehead, into your eyes, relaxing your eyes, relaxing your eyelids, any tension in your eyelids, relaxing your cheeks, and relaxing your mouth, feeling any sensations in your face as that 
relaxed trance hypnosis just goes through your head now and down your neck. And some people feel stress or strain in the shoulders. People with responsibility in their lives or worries in their lives carry the weight of the world on their shoulders. So just allow your shoulders to relax. And just with that imagination, that powerful imagination, just allow the hypnosis just to drip through the top of the head, into the forehead, into the eyes, into the cheeks down through the neck, into the shoulders, just relaxing the shoulders now, and just allow that hypnosis to just go down through the arms, relaxing the arms, relaxing the muscles in the arms, all the way down to the fingers, Paying attention to the sensations in the fingers now, allowing that hypnosis to just drip into the fingers now. That peaceful, relaxing, hypnotic state dripping into the fingers. And just let every muscle relax more and more. And just let your mind relax. Relax every single nerve and every single muscle in your body. Just allow my voice and any outside voices, any outside noises, just allow them just to take you deeper and deeper and deeper now to that relaxing hypnosis. From the top of your head, through your forehead and your eyes and your cheeks and your jaw, let go of any pressure or any tension. Letting go of any pressure or any tension. Let go of any pressure or any tension that your body has been holding on to now. And as you release the muscles, you release the tension, feel the relaxation in your body going down through your neck, through your chest. into your stomach, down your spine, allowing the hypnosis now to flow all the way through, feeling your heartbeat, allowing the hypnosis to relieve any pressure or tension in your stomach, in your body, and allow that hypnosis to go into your hips, through your legs, all the way to your feet, all the way to your toes, allowing yourself to relax deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into that hypnosis now. And I want your powerful subconscious to allow that hypnosis to just relax your toes, your feet, your calves, your thighs, your legs. Back up your legs, all through your body. Back up your head, back up through your stomach, through your chest, up your arms. Back up through your neck. Just notice that hypnosis taking you deeper and deeper with every heartbeat and with every breath every heartbeat and every breath just going deeper and deeper as you listen to my voice or as you listen to the sounds around you just going deeper with every heartbeat and every breath now and now just focus on the stillness the silence in the room that peace that's all around and it's always there This deep state of focus is calming, relaxing, and it's healing, and it's very good for you. This peaceful present moment is always there for you, and it's very healthy for you. And 
just want you to imagine with that powerful imagination, just imagine now that there's a helium balloon. There's a balloon or a string on your right hand and it's just slowly, slowly pulling up that hand, that right hand, the balloon or the string, just slowly pulling up that right hand up in the air. Your right hand is feeling lighter. 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 Just imagine with that powerful imagination. Attached to your right hand here is a balloon. It's just pulling that hand up. Up in the air. Slowly and safely. Now. slowly that right hand getting lighter and lighter and lighter now there's two balloons on top of that hand that right hand three balloons and those balloons are just putting that hand up slowly higher and higher Higher. Four helium balloons now pulling up that hand. Higher and higher. Five balloons. Five balloons pulling that hand slowly up. Higher and higher. Higher. That's it. six balloons pulling that hand up higher and higher and higher that's it perfectly safe and you're perfectly fine okay in a moment so now there's seven balloons pulling that arm up pulling that hand up now In a moment I'm going to pop those balloons, but not yet, but in a moment I'm going to pop those balloons. And when I pop those balloons, your hand is going to slowly go back down onto your leg. And as your hand goes slowly back down onto your leg, there are eight balloons on your hand now. As your hand starts to go slowly back down on your leg, I just want you to allow yourself to go deeper and deeper and deeper as your hand slowly goes back down onto your leg. So now I'm going to pop one balloon and your hand just slowly starts to fall back down onto your leg. And now I'm going to pop a second balloon, pop, and your hand's starting to fall slowly back down onto your leg. And now the third balloon, pop, has now been popped. And as your hand goes down again, slowly, slowly, now the fourth balloon, pop, okay. And now your hand is getting heavier and heavier. The fifth balloon, pop, okay. You've only got three balloons left. Your hand's getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Six, pop, only two balloons left now and your hand's getting heavier. And as your hand starts to come down, back down to your leg, just allow yourself to just go deeper and deeper and deeper. Seventh balloon, pop, has now gone. There's only one balloon left now. And in a moment, I'm going to pop that last balloon and your hand's going to just go back down onto your leg. And as your hand falls down, just allowing yourself to just go deeper and deeper and deeper into that hypnosis pop now okay and now go deeper and deeper and deeper go 10 times deeper 20 times deeper 30 times deeper 40 times deeper 50 times deeper 
and 60 times deeper. Perfectly safe and perfectly fine. Just imagine that your, your bum, your ass, your back are just glued down, stuck down, glued down, stuck down in the chair, just to make sure that you stay in that chair and you stay safe. 70 times deeper and 80 times deeper and 90 times deeper. Perfectly safe, perfectly fine. Your back and your legs just stuck down, glued down, stuck down, glued down in the chair just to keep you safe. 80 times deeper, 90 times deeper, and 100 times deeper now. That's it. And now go to that mystical place, that magical place, that place where you can make perfect positive lifestyle changes, that mystical place, that magical place, that place where you can make perfect positive lifestyle changes. Just take yourself now, your subconscious, go there now to this mystical place, this magical place, this place where you can make perfect positive lifestyle changes. And Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to do that emotional cleaning again. So I'm speaking to Jesus's subconscious now. Last time we did the emotional cleaning and we cleared out a lot of emotions, images, feelings that were not serving us, that were not helping anymore. And maybe there are some left. Maybe there's some images left, some feelings left, some emotions left, some negative images, feelings or emotions from the past that are not helping Jesus anymore, they're not serving him anymore. And so I'm just going to ask Jesus' subconscious to help Jesus now. And just to imagine, only imagine with, my, with that powerful imagination, that any negative images, feelings, thoughts or emotions that are stuck in the body, trapped in the body, blocked in the body, that are not helping Jesus now, any remaining images, negative images, feelings, thoughts or emotions that are still stuck or blocked in the body, just going to ask Jesus' subconscious now to just let them slowly come up, slowly and safely, up through the stomach. That's it, up through the stomach. And up through the chest, just imagining that there's a light or an energy or a white light above the head, a healing light above the head, that's just going to suck them out as we go up through the chest. Up through the shoulders, up through the neck, allowing them now to just come up through the head, any negative images, feelings, thoughts or emotions that are still stuck in the body, maybe from the last day, from the last week, from the last month, or maybe from a long time ago, just coming up through the head and being released out the top of the head now. That's it, you're perfectly safe and you're perfectly fine. Perfectly safe and you're perfectly fine. That's it, and just slowly and calmly letting any negative images, feelings, thoughts or emotions that have been blocked that have been stuck in the body from experiences, maybe from a long time ago, maybe from not so long ago, maybe, maybe the stress of waiting for the residence card or anything that's coming up, just allowing anything now to come up through the stomach, through the chest, clearing out any negativity now. Through the neck, that's it, up through the head, and just allow them to come out one at a time, pop, 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 at the top of the head, now.
as you're just healing your body, healing your mind, clearing the energy in your body, releasing any negative images, feelings, thoughts or emotions. And letting them just flow out through your body or through the stomach, or through the arms or through the chest, safely and calmly being released up through the neck up through the head a pressure valve being opened and just allowing all that steam to just release through the top of your head one at a time now Just letting it all go. Feeling lighter and more peaceful every time that one is released, one at a time. Bop, bop, bop. Any, any frustration, any anger, any pain, any hurt, just allowing them all to come out. one more time so just now anything that's left just allowing anything that's left imagine that my hands in your stomach and it's just pulling them up anything that's left any last little negative images feelings thoughts emotions or sensations that you need to clear out today that your subconscious knows you should clear out today just allowing them to come up any pain any hurt any anger any frustration any negative emotion just allowing them to come up through the chest that's it, and you're perfectly safe and you're perfectly fine coming up through the neck and coming up through the head and just being sucked out of the top of your head now. Yeah, perfectly safe and perfectly fine. And this time, what I'd like you to also imagine is that this light, this energy, this white light above your head, allow that light to help you to heal. Let this light, with your imagination, your powerful imagination, just imagine that this light, this white light, this healing light is going in through your head and down through your head into your eyes, into your cheeks, this healing light, a white light, or any color that you see, but imagine that this energy, this healing light, this healing energy is coming in through your head, down through your eyes, through your cheeks, through your neck, into your shoulders, into your chest, just imagine and allow this wonderful, beautiful healing light or energy go all the way into your heart, healing and all the time sending you deeper and deeper and deeper into this wonderful, peaceful, hypnotic state. It continues down through the chest. It's healing the muscles, the organs, the bones, any pains any aches, just working through your body now, through your stomach, any pain, any aching, any anything in the body that needs healing or connecting, being 
reconnected and rehealed and put back together into its perfect condition and perfect health now as it goes down through the legs and it's just flowing like a wave from the top of your head coming through this healing beautiful peaceful energy this white light or any color that you imagine coming through your body down through your legs healing every part of your body removing any last pieces or parts of negative images feelings thoughts or emotions just let that white light flow through your body maybe feel your chakras your energy points in your body through your spine connecting and activating as everything gets reconnected and gets realigned in perfect symmetry Maybe you imagine, maybe you may imagine that the, that light is filling up the outside of your body now and the skin of your body is just filling up with this white light and your whole body is filling up with this white light. And it might be now moving beyond you becoming everything as you experience now that you are energy and energy is everything. Healing, powerful, loving energy. And as you experience this light healing you, just allow this powerful energy, this light to just heal your body connect all of your energy in perfect connection and perfect symmetry and while you're just allowing that energy to just expand and grow that healing energy all through your body I'm just going to read a little text to Jesus's subconscious so while I read this text just focus on the energy healing your body I'll just read a little story the difference between those people who live in the present moment, focused on the present moment, and living in total peace and total joy, and those who don't, is practice. From now on, you will practice and exercise focusing on the present moment. The more you practice, the more your abilities to stay focused on the present increase. Just like any other muscle or ability, if it's practiced, it becomes stronger. You begin this by being aware of all that's around you. You're in tune with your feelings and your intuition. You can observe them. You can hear and feel and follow your intuition, your gut feeling, which is that small voice from within that helps and it guides you. You're no longer affected by negativity, by negative emotions or negative events. You see what you need to do in your life to evolve, to develop and to be the best version of yourself now. You enjoy all that life has to offer you, the happiness, the good moments, the exciting moments, the adventures, the good feelings, and you can also enjoy the less good moments because you can observe them, find the positives, the lessons, the clarity in each moment and let the moments pass as all moments pass by themselves. You accept people as they are and you do not try to change them. You allow them to be themselves. You constantly work on being a better person and keeping things positive and you care and you're compassionate about others and you remain centered spiritually centered at all times that means balanced and relaxed and emotionally calm and focused on now you realize that you can create your own reality that you're open-minded to all things and you follow your intuition as you follow your intuition your focus on the present moment can only increase more and more. 
and you are open to the gifts of the universe, the coincidences, the miracles, and you allow the universe to help you in your growing process. You listen to the moment and to your inner self. Every day as your awareness increases, you receive information, downloads, to help you know what the best choices are on your personal life journey. You have the total ability to concentrate 100% upon any object of your focus, such as a fun moment, eating, talking with friends, relaxing, working, or meditating. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes. But this healing will continue after you're awake until you're restored to optimum, to the optimal, to the best, to the perfect health and have become the best, healthiest version of yourself. Before you awake, I just want to thank your subconscious for helping us today in this session here and just want you to take a moment to really listen. Is there any message coming from this energy, from this white light, from this source for you here today? Something you need to know, a lesson you need to learn, something that can help you during your life, that can guide you and help you for the coming days, weeks, months, or even years. And speaking to Jesus again now, when you've done enough, when you've cleaned and healed and he and uh, fixed yourself enough for today, when you know that you've done enough for today, open your eyes and feel absolutely fucking amazing. Take your time, you're perfectly safe, you're perfectly fine. When you know that you've done enough for today, open your eyes and feel absolutely amazing. Whoa, man! You need it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice, man. Oh, fuck. Cool, that was amazing. Yeah, man. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we haven't even started the past life stuff yet. <laughs> all right so there was a few things that i just did there that i haven't done before so the first thing was i took you into hypnosis through the meditation that was really good because it worked did you feel your hand coming up yeah i felt it i felt it man i felt it <laughs> that's cool dude. that's cool it was fun it was like Something was pulling you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see it in the video later. Um, at first, I wasn't sure if it was working, but I just kept going and I just added balloons, you know? <laughs> That's not in here. I was like, okay, now you've got two, now you've got three. And after like the third or fourth balloon, your hand started to move. And then I was like bursting the balloons, but your hand was still going up. And it didn't go down again until there was only one balloon, I think, or two balloons. I was like, okay. I was like, I'm hoping it's going to go down. <laughs> but cool, man. 
and that was a tester that was to see if you're in hypnosis while you're still in the it's meditation because I couldn't check it you know okay and then okay we did the emotional cleaning so anything big come up or did it feel like it was just cleaning everything yeah just clean just daily stress I think yeah yeah like problems with uh, work and stuff like that and like yeah other other things other things that I have like on concern and stuff like that yeah we are just just that mm. so nothing big that came up that you want to like focus on today no nothing just a good cleaning yeah okay. just yeah. and then so this other idea of the energy coming into your body how was that yeah i mean i could feel I could, like when you do that like i could sense like a green energy going all over my body like, yeah and you could feel it here. yeah like like under like it like a like a electricity energy going through the body you know like i could feel it yeah i could feel like it relaxing my shoulders and everything like yeah and i was feeling like you see here this red stuff i i was like feeling them itching and stuff and then i just didn't feel it anymore i know and can you feel it itching now yeah i can feel the itching now but yeah there i did Okay. Uh, is it a what is it? Is it a from the cold? I think. From the cold? Yeah. Okay. So, what about okay? What's your favorite color? My favorite color, I think, is black or yellow. Black or yellow. All right. So let's say yellow. So just imagine that that's yellow. Okay. Just imagine that I'm just pulling all of that. The itching is the yellow, and I'm just pulling all the itching, all that yellow, out of your finger now. And in a moment, I'm just going to pull it out, and that itching is going to be gone. Does it itch? No. And the more that you try to find the itch, the more that the itch just disappears. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 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 the more that you try to find the itch, the itch is just disappears. No, it doesn't itch anymore. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Cause the thing is, with, with pain and things like that, you can help with a uh, pain that's been there for a long time. Mm. But if it's something which is just because of the weather right now, it's not always as effective. But it just works. So perfect. You've got no more itching in your finger. That's good. <laughs> um, and then... Uh, oh, and then I asked if there was like any kind of a message or anything. Did you hear anything or did you feel anything or there was no message? Yeah, I, I felt like I should concentrate more on my work. On this work at the hostel? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, sometimes I miss stuff and I need to concentrate more. I think, I think that was the message. Or maybe like get up. I mean, sometimes you do this anyway, but get up, do it, get out of the, get it out of the way, and then yeah. relax. Yeah, and then, and then I thought like, like you said like something like, uh, some the stuff that I needed to, to improve myself, you know, to, and I, I saw myself like, doing exercises and stuff like that. Ah, yeah, so cool. Yeah. So that's uh, oh, yeah. no, that's a good thing. Cause, so that was, uh, um, you were focusing on the energy. When I was reading to you, were you focusing on what I was reading or were you focusing on the energy? I could hear your voice, but I could feel the energy. Yeah. Oh. And could you kind of understand the words or not really? I could, I could understand yeah. the words. Because this is something I've not done before. But yeah. when you're, when you're, um, um, focused on for example the energy and I'm just reading a text mm. the idea is that that text that I read to you goes straight into your subconscious mm. okay. so it was basically about being in the present moment now not stressing in the thoughts mm -hmm. being the best version you can and your subconscious told you to work harder and do some exercise yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. so there you go <laughs> 
All right. Right, we can use past life regression to discover conclusions about quite a few different things. For example, why we have certain behaviors, uh, why we have feelings towards certain people, our habits, uh, negative habits, any fears or phobias that we have. Uh, we can learn more about the type of person we are. Um, we can also learn about why we died before, but there's usually some kind of a lesson there for us. We can find out if you were famous. <laughs> um, okay. So there's lots of different reasons to go into uh, hypnosis. Are you ready to go into a past life experience? Yeah, man, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay. Um, let me just check what I've got to do first. Five to one. Okay, yeah. So first we're going to take you back to that mystical, magical place. All right. Um, top of your eyelids. All right. So I'm going to try a different, a slightly different, just uh, follow my finger. And just imagine now, as you follow my finger, just imagine that as I just focus on my finger and just imagine that as I lift my finger up now and just follow my finger and just imagine as I lift my finger up, just imagine that that hypnosis is now dripping in through your eyes, through the top of your head and going down through your head, filling up your body and you're going to go back into hypnosis deeper, 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 deeper now. Deeper, 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 10 times deeper, 20 times deeper, 30 times deeper, 40 times deeper, 50 times deeper, 60 times deeper, 70 times deeper, 80 times deeper, 90 times deeper, and 100 times deeper now. Deeper and deeper and deeper now. That's it. And you're perfectly safe and you're perfectly fine. And you're still stuck in that chair just to make sure that you stay safe and you don't and you're perfectly fine. Okay, now I'd like your subconscious, your powerful subconscious to go to that mystical place, that magical place, that place where you can make perfect, positive lifestyle changes now. And I'd like you to go back to the steps or the stairs. They could be inside, they could be outside. And we're just going to walk down those steps. And as you hear my voice and you listen to my voice, and as you walk down those steps, it's just going to take you deeper and deeper and deeper into that hypnosis now. And there are five steps. And we're going to go from five down to one. And when you go down the steps, not only will you go deeper and deeper and deeper into hypnosis, but you're going to go so deep into hypnosis that you will remember every experience that you've ever had, whether it was in this body or any other body, or even if it was between bodies when you had died and before you were born again. You're going to remember all these experiences you won't remember them all in your head, but you will be able to access them all. And that's what we're going to do when we get to the bottom of the stairs today. So now on the fifth step, just allowing yourself as you go down to the fourth step to just go deeper and deeper and allowing yourself to just go deeper. Step three into hypnosis just allowing also all of those memories to just start to wake up inside you to and one going deeper and deeper as you listen to my voice that's it going down to the bottom of the stairs in that mystical magical place where you can make perfect, positive lifestyle changes now. And 
your body is still surrounded by, it's still full of this healing light, this healing white light that just continues to heal you. And you can remember everything. And to show you this, to show you this, we're gonna go back in time. First a little bit, and then more and more back in time. And first, as I count back from five to one again, I'm going to count from five to one again. I want you to go back to a childhood memory, a memory from a long, 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 long time ago. In this body, a childhood memory, a memory in this life, a special memory, an important memory, something to learn from this memory. So from all of the memories that you can choose from, from this life, from when you were a child, I just want you, as I count from five to one, to allow this memory, this memory from your childhood, this special memory, this important memory, this memory with something to learn for you today. As I count from five to one, I just want you to allow this memory to just get clearer and clearer and clearer, like you're watching this movie on an HD TV screen, or maybe even clearer than that, like you're in it. But you're going to be perfectly safe and perfectly fine, whatever the memory is. You're only observing the memory. So five, allowing that memory to get clearer and clearer, four, Moving into that memory now, three, every detail of that memory, that important special memory from your childhood, two, getting clearer and clearer, clearer, one, you can remember everything now. Notice the details. What do you look like? with your imagination, your powerful subconscious. Have a look at your hands, have a look at the feet. Maybe you are in the memory or maybe you can see yourself in the memory, but just have a look at how old you are, where you are, who you're with, who is there. Is it cold? Is it warm? Is it light? Is it dark? Take a deep breath and as you take that deep breath just allow yourself to remember more. Everything in that memory just becomes clearer and clearer. And just breathe, your, breathe yourself deeper and deeper into that memory now. That's it. And in a moment, you're going to just float above that memory. And as you just float above that memory and just look down on that memory as if you're above that memory and you can see it from the sky or from space or just above, above the memory, just for a moment, let yourself understand the importance of the memory. Maybe someone can tell you or maybe you can feel it. But why out of all of the hundreds and thousands of memories, why this one? Why is this memory important? What is the message? The message that can maybe help you now in your life now? Is it trying to tell you something? Is it trying to remind you of something? Is there something to be learned? Why is it important to you now, this memory that you chose? And now as you're floating above this memory, just listening for any messages or any signs or any symbols or images that can help you to understand why you chose that memory today. I'm going to count down again from five to one. As I count down now, 
want you to take a deep breath and allow yourself to go further back in time, back to when you were in your mother's womb. If you can, go to that time as I count from five to one. When you get to one, you're going to be in your mother's womb, in, in utero, in the prenatal state, in your mother's womb. So five, just allowing yourself to go back in time. Four, going to that time when you are not born yet, but you're still in this life. Three, going to that time when you're inside your mother's womb. Two, becoming clearer and clearer and clearer, maybe the images, sensations, feelings, but one, you are there, you are there. What do you experience now? What are, the, what are the emotions? Are they your emotions? Are they your mother's emotions? Or maybe even your father's emotions? Sometimes deep spiritual wisdom is available while you're in the womb, before you're born. Some knowledge, some message. Why are you choosing these parents? And this life, why are you choosing this life? See if there's any message or signs or symbols about what lessons are you coming back to this earth school to learn? to master, to evolve, and to develop on your spiritual path. Why this life? Why these lessons? Just experience that amazing moment for a few more seconds. And in a moment, I'm going to count from one to three. And when I count from one to three, you are going to experience being born, but there's going to be no discomfort and there's going to be no pain. So with your subconscious and your powerful subconscious and your imagination, just imagine as I count from one to three, that you are being born into this life. One, no pain. Two, no discomfort. Three, and you are here, you are born. What do you become aware of now? Notice the people, the noises, the temperature. Notice your mother there. Is your father there? How does it feel? Feel the love of creation the love that was there all the time. Feel that love in the air from the people there. Just pure love. Before you had to study, before you have to learn, before you have to work, the love was just there. And now, just float above that scene, just go floating above that scene, feeling so light and so peaceful, looking down on that scene, on that memory. And we're ready now to go back even further in time, back into a past life. I just want you to imagine with that powerful imagination that you see a door, just like the control room, but this is a different door. You open the door and on the other side of the door is a path, a road, a street. And as you start to walk along this path or this road or travel along this path or road or street, just notice how along that path, there are different 
other paths coming out like branches coming out from a branch of a tree just breaking off all these different branches coming off all these different paths or streets coming off of this one main road and each one each one of these paths is a different past life a different life before this one And I want you to just travel around, walk around that path, that street, that road, until you feel one road that's breaking off, one branch that's coming off, until you feel one that's calling you, or until you just feel that you have the desire to just go down this one path, just find one that you would like to go through. And when you have the right path and you're ready to go down that path, just give me a nod so that I know that you've chosen the path. Thank you. Okay, now I want you to start walking down that path. This path is going to take you to a, a past life, a life before this life. And I want you to imagine with that powerful imagination that as you walk down that path, that in front of you, there's a magnificent, bright light. And as you walk along that path, that light is just getting brighter and brighter and brighter. And it's perfectly safe and it's perfectly fine and it's peaceful, but it's a bright, powerful white light as you walk along that path. And on the other side of that light, there will be a scene, a memory that you find yourself into a different life. And you're going to join that scene completely when I count down from five to one. Five, just walking through that bright light, four, coming to the other side of that light. Three, this memory, this scene from a past life is starting to come into view. Two, it's becoming clearer and clearer and clearer like an HD movie on a movie screen. One, you're there in another life. And what I'd like you to do now is just feel for a few moments what does it feel like you can speak to me if you like what can you see in this memory in this life where do you think you are is it light? Is it dark? If you want, you can talk to me, it's fine. Is it light or is it dark? Is it cold? Is it warm? Are you alone? No. There are people there. Yeah. Have a look at your feet. What type of shoes are you wearing? Are you wearing any shoes? Red shoes. Red shoes? Black. Black shoes. Have a look at your hands. Are you old? Are you young? Are they white? Are they black? White. Are you a man or a woman? Man. Do you feel safe? Are you safe where you are? Yes. Have a look around. What can you see as you look around? I see a TV. A TV? Bookshelf. Sure. 
Are you in your house? It's in a couch. Does it feel like it's your home? Yeah. Okay, and you said you're not alone. Who is with you in the room? An old man. An old man. Is it your father? No. Grandfather? No. Do you feel comfortable with this man? Yes. A friend. A friend. What is he doing? He is sitting. What does his face look like? Does he have a beard? No. Is he smiling? Yeah. Is he happy? Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. Is there a special occasion, a special reason? No. Is there anyone else in the room? No. Just have a look in that room, just see if there's a mirror, if you can find a mirror, and then you can have a, a good look at yourself. And you can see if you have short hair, long hair. Is there a mirror in the room? No. No mirror. Can you see what is on the television? Yes. Okay. What is the what is on the TV? A movie. A movie. Is it in color or in black and white? Color. Does the TV look old or new? Old. Old TV. Is there anything else in the in the room? Any animals in the room? No. Do you have anything in your hand? Yeah. Cigarette. Cigarette in the hand. Can you read the name of the cigarette, the brand? For example, Marlboro? Called. Is there any book that is important or special in the room? Or anything in the room? that can tell us a little more information about who you are. A book, um, a uniform, uh, photographs, photographs on the wall? No. 
does it feel like there's anything you need to solve or fix in this moment? Oh. Oh, it's a happy moment that you're in. Yeah. Can you touch your hair and feel if it's long or short? Short. Short. Do you know which language you speak? Can you hear the, uh, the old man talking to you in a language? English. English. American English. Is there a window you can look through to see what's outside? the other cars outside moving? Is it a road outside or are they parked outside? Parked. Or parked outside. If you look outside, can you see any people? Yeah. Lots of people? No. Just some people? Yes. Is there any people in the garden? Do you have a garden or a yard? No. Do the people look uh, like, are they wearing clothes from a long, long time ago? Yeah. What is the weather like? Same. Sunny weather. So when you're ready, I will count from one to three and I'm going to ask you to go to another important time later in that same life. So an important time in that life where something very important happened, maybe with a message there, something that you can learn. Are you ready to move? I'm going to count to three. So now, just imagine with your powerful imagination, as I count, one, take a deep breath, as deep as you can, and just imagine, just relax completely, and just imagine that you're moving into a different moment in that same life, that same person, but later in that life. Two. I want to feel yourself moving ahead, going to, into a future time for that same life, a significant event in that life, an important event in that life, okay? A few years ahead, something significant, important, and important in that same life. And just allow it to get clearer and clearer and clearer, three, you are there. Where are you now? What can you see now? I can see trees. Trees. It's raining. It's raining, yeah. Are you in the woods? Are there many trees? Yeah. Yeah. And how are you feeling at this moment? Happy? Scared? Excited? Nervous. Nervous? Yeah. Something's happening. 
Is there somebody with you? Yeah. This person is friendly? Yeah. Is friendly person? Yeah. Is this person male or female? Male. Male. Is this person young or old? Same age. Same age. Uh, this person is coming to you? Or what is this person doing? Standing. We're looking for something. Okay, I'm just going to put your arm back on your knee so it doesn't fall off. Is it? Okay. Oh, you're looking for something? Yeah. Oh, you're looking for something together? Yeah. Are you looking in the ground, in the soil? In the woods. In the woods, looking in the woods. Do you know what you're looking for? Yeah. What is it? What are you looking for? We're looking for meat. Meat? Yes. Looking for meat. Looking for an animal? Yes. To kill it? Yes. Okay. Do you know what type of animal you're looking for? Any. Any animal to kill it and eat it? Yeah. Okay, are you hungry? No. Okay. Do you have anything in your hand, a weapon? A gun. A gun. Is it a, a rifle or a pistol or? A rifle. Can you feel it in your hand? Yeah. And if you look at your feet, uh, what clothes are you wearing on your feet, on your legs, jeans? I'm wearing boots. Boots. Yeah. Okay. Brown tri. Okay. And why do you know why is this? Ex this experience in this life so important. Do you know why it's important? Yeah. What can what can you learn from this experience? Is there a Nothing. Nothing. It was an important experience in, th in this old life. Feel alive. Feel alive. To feel alive. You feel alive right now. Yeah. In this memory. Is there anyone else, or just you and this other one person? Me and the other. Okay. And you feel, what emotions do you feel right now? Like happy, excited? Nervous. Nervous, nervous, Ner but positive nervous, yeah? Yeah. Like, yeah. Is there anything else that you need to see or learn in this memory, in this moment? Just to feel alive. Yeah. Feel alive. Okay, now 
I will count from one to three. And when I count to three, I want you to go to the end of that life, okay? To the moment of this past life death. But there will be no pain, no discomfort, no pain, no discomfort. You are just watching this like an HD movie. After three, so one, take a deep breath and just imagine, allow yourself to just go into the end of this life, knowing that you are perfectly safe and you're perfectly fine. And I want you to stop just a few minutes before the end of that life. Okay, two, going to that moment, to the end of that life. And now three, allowing that moment to get clearer and clearer and clearer. Remember that this is a movie and that you're perfectly safe, you're perfectly fine, there's no pain, but you can experience, you can watch and you can see the end of this life. What can you see now? A woman, is she old or is she young? Young. Young. Is she your daughter? No. Why? Why? Are you the same person as the last memory? Yeah. So you died young, maybe. Have a, have a look at your uh, hands, or if there's a mirror, just to see how old you are, if you're old or young. quite young still. Can you feel or do you know what you're dying from? Cancer. Cancer. And your wife is with you. And do you love her? Yeah. Does she love you? She's crying. She's crying. Can you look around the room? Is there anyone else in the room? Other people, family in the room? Kids. Kids in the room. Okay, just remember it's a memory. You're perfectly safe, you're perfectly fine. Are they your children? Your children. How many children do you have? this life how many children can you see four children okay um, do you have any regrets anything that you wanted to do differently that you or anything that you didn't do some regrets. Can you tell me one regret, one thing that you didn't do, or that you did do, that you wish you didn't do? Stop smoking. Oh, uh, you wanted to stop smoking. And is the cancer because of the smoking? Yeah. Okay. And just as you lie there now, in the, are you in bed now? Just reflect for a moment on your life. What, are there any lessons that you can learn from this life that can help you now? Yes. Okay. What is the lesson that you can learn now? Spend more time with your family. Spend more time with your family. And feel alive. And is this what you are supposed to learn from this life for now? Okay. Just allow yourself now to just 
drift up above that scene as you leave the body, as you go through the death and you rise up above your body and as you rise up above the body now going through that death you feel free and you feel light and you've left your body and you've left that time and you've left that place and you've understood the lessons and now you go up and up and go up maybe to a bright, bright white light and you feel free and peaceful and light and now you're between bodies you've died but you have not come back and I just want you to imagine that someone very wise someone very special a beautiful spiritual being, a beautiful being is greeting you. And this could be in the shape, in the form of someone, a loved one, someone who loves you unconditionally and completely. Or it could be an angel, it could be a guide, it could be a master. But some beautiful being is greeting you as you die and as you leave that body. And imagine that you can communicate with this being, with words or images or thoughts or feelings. And just ask this beautiful, wise, enlightened being, just ask this being, are there any messages for you now? any knowledge, any wisdom, anything that this being can help you with now to remove any blocks or obstacles in your body, in your life, to allow you to have more peace and joy and happiness and purpose in this life now. Is there anything you need to know or is there anything you need to remember? If you want, you can tell me the message, if there's a message. And in a moment, it will be time to return. So just take some time now in this space between bodies. Just feel the peace. And is there any message for you now? And what is the message? Don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. Feel alive, spend time with family and enjoy. Okay. Is there anything else that the wants to share with you now? So say goodbye to this being now and soon you're going to come back to this room and you'll remember everything that you've experienced and all the lessons that you've learned. You'll remember the childhood memory, being in the womb, what happened on the other side of the door, the light, the messages, the wisdom, the knowledge. And most importantly, you'll remember that you are a spiritual being here to learn, to grow, to develop, to love, to be loved, to find purpose and to help others. 
And so say goodbye to that spiritual friend now. And just remember that they're always with you, even when you're not aware, then this guide is always there for you. In your intuition, in your heart, in your soul. And you are always loved and you are never alone. And now, go back to the room, the path, come back out of the past lives, back into the room with the path and the different choices. And just go back through the door into the mystical, magical place, the place where you make perfect and positive lifestyle changes. Okay, and in a moment I'm going to count from one to five, and I'm going to bring you back here, back to this life, with all those messages and those memories now. Okay. And all this time your body has been recover has been re recovering and getting healthier and happier. And you feel f full of a peaceful energy. Okay, one, just now, just allowing all that healing that you've done today just to flow through your body. Two, just now allowing all those lessons and all those, yeah, all those lessons to just really, really sink into your body now. The feeling alive, being with your family and they're not worrying too much. Just allow those, me those messages to really go into your subconscious and unconscious and conscious mind now. Three, now just allow your body to just start to move and just let your muscles come back to the room and you're starting to feel fresh. And four, now imagine that there's some fresh mountain water just flowing through your body, going into your mouth, going into your eyes, going through your body, feeling awake, feeling fresh and five open your eyes and just if you want give yourself a big stretch just come back to the room after that amazing experience when the guy died. Let me give you Fuck, oh, man. <laughs> All right, so. Fuck, oh, man. <laughs> what? I never, fuck, bro, fuck. What's going on with your hands, man? Man, because I was so fucking white, bro, fuck. You were so white, you're checking oh, the color of your hands. <laughs> I had colors of hands, you know? Oh, yeah? Yeah, like. Fuck, bro. Hey, give me a high five, man. That's what's up, man. And I had big hands, like, fuck. <laughs> fuck. That, that place was so old, man. So fucking old. I was a bit confused, because you had a car, and you had a TV, and you said it was really old, you know? Yeah. Maybe from, like, the 60s or something? Yeah, know. it was... Um, there was a movie going on, was a, you know, uh, those movies, West, West. Ah, uh, Western. Western. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck. And what about, okay, so let's just go through it. You went to um, Childhood Memory. You saw a Childhood Memory? Yeah. I saw a memory, I was at the preschool, you know, preschool, and I was like five or something. I was there. Fuck. I was like 
or when you said when like I was looking from the memory from above I could see the whole school you know like uh, floating above the whole school the whole school I could see the whole school like the like there was like this I don't know how to put like there was the the rooms here like this the back like a like a place where you were to when uh, like you know when a pause between between classes there was this place we were to like do recreation and stuff like that and there was the the other place there was like the the place we we go to eat you know mm -hmm. yeah i could see everything from above like fuck <laughs> and then uh, was there any reason that you got why you chose that memory from all the uh, thousands of yeah them? yeah that memory because there was this kid that was older than me and I used to fear him but he was a cool kid at, at the end but just because he was like really black <laughs> and I was like scared of him okay and that yeah. fits with the last message of like don't worry so much yeah I think so yeah not to fear stuff like not to fear stuff and not to um, create stories so much in your head or something yeah maybe and then you did you go in the wound yeah man it was <laughs> wet and squishy <laughs> <laughs> and did, you, did you could you get a message on why you chose those parents i don't know maybe i think because to control anger and i don't know to control anger yeah I don't know yeah but it's it sounds like linked like control anger control the emotions control the fear yeah. like yeah linked yeah when when I saw my birthday man like for I could see like the oh yeah you were born today yeah <laughs> I felt like they were like pulling up my leg like this, you know. <laughs> but I, I saw, I could feel the warmth of my mom hugging me and stuff like that. Fuck. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's the fucking shit. Man. Was your dad there? Outside. He was outside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see him. Uh, but you felt the love yeah. from your mom when you were yeah. born? Yeah. And I could, could feel daddy who was there too. Fuck. Um, cool. And then you went to the yeah. back to the memory of this guy, and there was the old man in the yeah. sofa. Yeah, he, he, this old man, he had like huge eyebrows. He was also white. He was wearing, or he was wearing like a shirt, like uh, striped shirt, no, like this. Uh, check, checked. Shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was wearing this, and he was also smoking. We both were smoking. Ah, you were both smoking. Oh, that was the connection to the death. Because it was the smoking that killed you. Yeah. Because I was thinking like... I could, I could feel that... In the woods too, I could feel my mouth. You know, when you smoke, you can feel yeah, yeah. The, the taste of it. I could feel the taste of it. So, like, that's interesting because you said that there was like no... A particular message or reason for that first memory in that past life but actually it there wasn't but you were smoking and then that linked to the death oh yeah yeah and then the in the woods uh, you said the message was just like to um, feel alive yeah I could feel like nervous and like the blood rush you know you were both so like apprehensive like yeah. Looking for something, you know, looking for an animal. I think. And the other guy was like, he had a mustache. Yeah. And like, we were both in use like hunting clothes or something. Oh. And, boots, and it was raining really bad. Fuck. And then the death, and you, you were crying, so you could feel the. Your yeah. sadness or their sadness or both? Both, both. I could feel the love of the the woman. I could feel the love of the kid. They were, were both there, crying. Fuck. And in that life, you had a big family. No, no, no. There was just one one kid in the room, 
and the wife. Oh, I thought you said four or five children. No, one, one, one kid. I and mean, you died young as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know the exact age, but I think it was like 45 or something. It's so, really young. And then, and then you died? And then you saw a, a guide, someone meeting you? I saw just a light. Just a light? Just a light. Yeah. And that light like gave you a message? Yeah. And the message was to not worry so much? Yeah. Wow. That's fucked up. Man. That's one motherfucking therapy, man! Man, I, <laughs> man when you when, like, I looked in, into my hands and what I was wearing, like, Dude, my hands were, were white, man, were the whitest, whitest hands that I ever seen in my life. <laughs> Fuck. Cool. And I had short, short hair, like, you know, those, those cuts, like, they, they paint the hair too, behind, you know. Oh uh, yeah, like in like uh, Greece, you know, like in the old yeah. movies, you know, when you slice you uh, with the gel. Yeah, 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 yeah like that. Like this. Uh. I had this kind of painting and no beard, no nothing, just shape. Fuck. I could like when you you told me to look to the window, I could I saw these old cars, you know, like green greenish cars, like you know that movie, you know that movie. Uh, from John Travolta, the, the dance and yeah, Greece. That's what I was yeah, saying. Greece, the, yeah, yeah, Greece. Yeah. Those, those, the cars were like in the movie. You know, the cars were like in the yeah, yeah, old cars. Yeah, I guess it's like sixties or something like that. Shit, man. Oh. And you, you've lived in America, man. <laughs> <laughs> in the USA. I <laughs> The dude, the old man was just, was just talking something to me, but I couldn't, I couldn't know. I like, I don't know what was it. I mean, it was just a normal shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Wow. Yeah, man. That's like oh. a cool experience. <laughs> Message, messages for you on how to be healthier and happier Fuck, man, that's I tell, and also that's like when you were in the life mm. you know like I had to just ask questions you know I didn't there was no script for like what do you do in the life you know I was yeah. like okay can you see your feet can you see the window can you see yeah man that's crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> I could like when I saw the hands I was like fuck what the fuck this is not, this is not my head. I need to sort these out. Cool. Yeah. All right. It worked, guys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Whoa, almost two hours.